Uh, one of the objectives that the Liberals had when they set all this up, and it's written right into legislation, was what they called uh, alternative service delivery, like that other companies would start doing ferry services in BC. Uh, so here, with a question on that, Canadian Taxpayers Federation, Troy Lanigan on competition. Troy. I say let people have choices. I mean, why isn't there more competition uh, on the main routes um, to allow people to go back and forth between the major population centers on the island and, and Vancouver? Um, uh, why is government so, and Crown Corporation so involved with this? It doesn't need to be. I mean, let, let consumers have a choice and let competition set prices without the interference of politics. Never really, this alternative service thing never really happened. Right? I don't think it ever was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I, 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 the first meeting we had with the commissioner and the, and the interested parties, I think there was about 50 people there. And I, I said there's two qualifi qualification issues that people have there. One, you have to be financially viable, meaning your balance sheet has to be willing to stand up in front of ours so that we're not absorbing or underwriting the, the risk of letting you do this. And two, you have to have experience uh, to be able to do this and, and, and take it on. Uh, very few people were experienced uh, enough to do this, and if you look at ferry operations around the world, um, they're in sad shape right now. So if there's real money to be made, people would be going after this business and everything else. I think the other thing that came out of the two or three things that were competitively tendered is we operated better than others. So I think it gets back to are we efficient? The answer is yes. Uh, we've always probably been better than other people doing it. Can you get competition on the main roads? Somebody could start it up tomorrow. They've had it before and it's, it's failed. I, I thought, too, one reason that this doesn't happen is that, and I thought we saw an example of that with the passenger service out of Nanaimo, where the people that set it up, they blew the engine on the ship and they didn't have a backup. Because to really, I mean, the one advantage the ferries have is, is you do have vessels you can move around. Uh, not always at peak season, but... Uh, you're, you're not in a situation where if one set of engines goes kaboom, you've got no way of getting people back and forth on the route. But we, we have, again, that advantage. Yes. We have the disadvantage of the minor routes, right, yes. where we lose money. So the only routes that make money are Route 1, Swanson Swartz Bay, and Route 2, Departure Bay, Horseshoe Bay. The rest of it loses money. So, you know, if this was a great business, you'd have... Uh, competitors knocking at the door, they'd be leaping through uh, all sorts of hoops to take over these contracted routes. You'd have all this great, I, I never saw it personally. Um, I put a, 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 a stamp on it that, you know, if somebody's going to take it on, you damn well better be ready to know what you're getting into. And nobody ever stood up. The Mill Bay Ferry would have been the easiest one to contract out, and it never happened because they couldn't make it work.